Hey Jennifer, this is Donnie of the Marketing Twins. Here's the second part to our how to edit and add blog post. What I wanted to focus on on the second part is a little bit about, let's say you wanted to add a photo to this. Now I'm going to, I've got all of your photos in a certain spot, so bear with me. I'm going to plug that little thing in and bear with me. I'm going to open that up. Should have had this open before I did the tutorial, but that's okay. All right. So there's some of the things. Let's use some of the. All right. So let's use this as an example. I'm going to go back to here. And uh, we're going to talk about how to add a photo to your page. So let's say that you wanted to, at the end of your name there, insert a photo. So let's show you how to do that. Now, a little quick tr uh, trick, if you will. When you're updating your blog, or when you're updating a page, or, or making, or putting, adding a new page, whatever, if you ever find your cursor at the end of the sentence, and you hit your enter, it's going to put a little space. You see, just a little bit of space there. If you held your shift key down and hit enter, there's not as much space. So it all depends on the format you're looking for. Sometimes people like things kind of butted up a little tighter. Sometimes people like things a little bit farther away. So that's just a little formatting thing. It's kind of a WordPress uh, specific thing. So if you find yourself thinking, wow, there's just too much space there, it probably that quote unquote hard return um, is if you hold your shift key down, you kind of, you lose that. So anyway, that's just a little dump. So let's say we want to add your picture there. So here's what I'm going to do. At the end of your name there, you wouldn't want to do this on every blog post, but let's say you wanted to, this just gives you an example of how to do that. There's two different ways of doing it. One is you can highlight this little button here as an added image, or you can use this over here as an add media. Now, I find myself using this one a lot because whether I'm updating on WordPress, if I'm adding a PDF file or a video or a photo, whatever it might be, this is, I, you know, this is kind of the catch-all. So you can use it either way. So let's just click add media here. You're going to be brought to this section here. Now, you can, and there'll be another tutorial below on how to add information to your media library. So if you ever had, you think, well, I really want the photo that we've got um, already on the site. So I'm going to give you a couple different ways of doing it. One, you can select it from your computer. You select it, and you can see here that I can go to my little uh, drive that's got your information here, and then I can find your picture. and insert it in there and there you are and all I have to do is um, what you pretty much want to do is just leave those leave that information alone for now and you insert into post and what happens is the pictures is shown in there now so it's it's that easy to, to load in there now I'm gonna delete that off for what we're trying to do here There's, that's one way of doing it alright so the other thing you can do is go up to add media and you can search for it in your media library so <clears throat> you could scroll through um, now what you saw saw there you see this top one anytime you add an image directly from your desktop it it automatically puts it into your media library now that's you'll see it in a, in a video tutorial how to do add things to your media library but just know anytime you add things directly to a blog post it's automatically going to put it in the media library. Now you can go through and find. Maybe you maybe you ever want to put a picture of the carrot cake one. These are all loaded already in your. If you see it on your computer right now, it's in the media library. So you can keep scrolling through here. The other thing you can do is to say, hey, I, I think the picture is labeled Jennifer. So I could try searching Jennifer. And there's two different ways. This was the one we just added, and this was the original one. You find the one you want and you hit show. You bring that same thing up again. Now, a couple things that you want to do. There's ways to add captions and descriptions. You don't always have to do those. Uh, one thing uh, that you want to see is this section right here. You want to put, either put it as a thumbnail, a medium, or large. And you saw the size of the picture that I put earlier in was a pretty large size. So you might want to go down, this is, looks like about half the size, into a medium-sized picture, and you can insert the post there 
and now the picture shows up real nice and neat and if you want to you can click on that picture make the little boxes appear and you can center that picture uh, you can uh, gonna, this is an undo button by the way I'm about to hit it's a good button I always know about uh, you can do a lot of different things uh, with this the other thing you can do is right here hover over your picture or click on the picture have those two buttons appear you click on that I like this section here because this is you can do an advanced settings and here you can put uh, a border I like to do two for instance and when you tab that shows up and it uh, you can update it and see now it has a nice little border around it I think on most of the pictures on your site that's what we did and this is just showing you how to do insert things into a blog post so for the sake of this I'm gonna delete that off because I don't think we need that in there right now but what, what I want to do is let's see if I can get back to that update your post here make sure it's got everything yeah there we go so if you ever wanted to edit anything you could do that now the same thing applies if you want to add now earlier on the other post I told you probably what I do is add this little line here this is cupcake and you could you could say by design that would probably be a good thing to have on every blog post and that way that title um, um, that the name of your store the name of your line of business shows up on every blog post and that's going to help with search engine optimization now there's another thing you want to do um, adding tags tags are good these are just little little keywords and so forth uh, maybe you want to have cupcakes um, and you could have children you know different things and there's no magic science to this they don't have to be upper or lowercase and you can add those in there and that just helps when people are searching for things and it just helps Google kind of organize things a little bit and then you can update your post and again when it's updated what we can do is go back to look at it, what it looks like you click on your blog and now you can see it's still thinking but what's going to what's going to happen here is it's going to add the name cupcake by design at the end of this sorry this is taking so long here we go there we go now we've got this cupcake by design added there and uh, that's what that'd be a real nice thing to have after, after the uh, after your name on every every blog post. Now, if you want to add it, it's pretty simple because all you have to do is go up to post and add new, and you start typing your your heading in here. Type your information in. If you want to add a photo, center things or whatever. The only thing I want to make sure you're aware of is over here. After you add the tags, you can do this uh, and publish this immediately I would just avoid anything to do with these two things here status and visibility you can leave those alone but if you wanted to you could post this immediately after you type all your information here type your heading in here you can publish and you click that and it would automatically go in now if you don't want to publish immediately this is something you could do where you could publish it on a on a schedule so let's say you, you're typing your blog post in on Sunday so that you want them to go in on next Friday because you know Friday's going to be a busy day and you don't have time to write it. But you do on Sunday afternoon or Saturday afternoon or Monday night or whatever it might be. So I can click the edit button and I can schedule this whenever I want it to go out. This works kind of on that military time. So right now it's about 3 o'clock um, uh, Dallas time, Dallas-Fort Worth time. And so this works, I believe, on a different time zone because of WordPress. So whatever that makes that, that's a few hours ahead of where we are. So just kind of, I always kind of put it at, um, you know, just pick a time in there and it'll show up. You know, sometimes it's, it's good just to have like uh, 07. And that way it'll show up pretty early in the morning and you'll be able to make that work. Click OK. And now you can see it's going to be published on this date. So if you're typing this on Sunday afternoon, then you can publish it out the next Friday. It'll be up there. And that's really it. That's how you edit and add new posts. If you have any questions about how to do that, um, please feel free to let me know. Thanks.